Hey guys, Coffee here, welcome back to another video, and today I'll be showing you how to make a Discord bot using COGS and all the other stuff, like .env to store your files, uh, .git ignore to, you know, ignore, teaching you how to make a uh, Discord bot, the basics, but not like super basic, but like, you know, something good. And first, you're going to want to make a new application, uh, make a name, just call it subscribe. Ah, subscribe bot right just create it and then what you'll do is go to, to bot add a bot yes do it and you'll have a bot right now you're going to want to do reset token then click yes do it then if you have 2fa enabled you're going to want to put a six digit code in here and let me do that real quick okay so i've done that and you should have gotten a code up there a really long string of numbers and letters and all that and you're going to want to keep that there right and now first let's just click this click this and click this and we'll now you should have gotten a really long string of letters numbers whatnot and that is your token you do not want to share that with anyone now for the sake of this video here bruh. now that you've gotten your token uh, you do not want to share this with anyone. I'm showing you too because, you know, it's it's a token. What am I going to do with this bot? Nothing. I'm going to delete it afterwards. Anyways, you're going to want to copy this. And in your text editor, we'll get started by making a file on the desktop. And we'll just call it um, Discord Bot. You want to open that, put it in your IDE or your editor. And to get started, let me just zoom in on this. What you're going to do is make a dot env file and what we're going to do is token is equal to that and paste it right and now you're going to do main dot pi and make a pi file now before anything what you're going to do is do pip install next chord and this is the what we're going to be using today for the bot i've already got it downloaded now what you're going to do is pip install python dash dot env exactly like that not env dot env nothing python dash dot env and i already have those so now what you're going to do is from next chord dot ext import commands and somewhat also good would be uh import next chord and os and we also have the dot env file we need to get the data out of so we'll do from dot env import load dot env and just a couple lines under, we'll do load.env, and then that's it. But we need to get the token, the variable. And we could do os.getenv, and then ours is saved as token. And there's our token, right? But let's make it easier on ourselves. Token is equal to that. Now, we need to enable all these down here first. And well, it needs to update a bit. So, oh, sorry. These all these need to update a bit, right? So while we're doing waiting for that to update, let's continue coding. We will do intents is equal to next chord dot intents dot all because it's the basic, and then we can do client is equal to commands dot bot. Oops, capitalize that. Intents is equal to intents. And then command prefix is equal to whatever you want. I'll be doing S exclamation mark to make it like less common. So you don't get mixed up with like me six or another famous bot. And just for fun, let's do at client.event async def on ready. Print. Oh, whoops. On Reezy. No. On ready. Print F for format logged in as client dot user and we can do dot name to make it more simple but i'm just going to keep it dot user and after that let's get started on the cogs so first what we're going to do is at client dot command async def load ctx and i'll call it com uh, extension that'll be better 
We can do client dot unload extension. Actually, let's do load first. Load extension, and then F for format, cogs dot, and then extension and curly brackets. Eh, extension. Oops. And after that, we can do await ctx dot send f format loaded ex eh, extension successfully right now let's copy this whole thing three more times one two or two more times so you can make three now instead of load one of them is going to be unload and you can change that for there we do unloaded extension successfully unload unload and then reload reload reloaded successfully and now we can do client dot run token and here's our bot so far and uh, let's just be safe before I forget you will do dot get ignore right there and we can do dot env and now whenever you upload this to github uh, this will be safe only you will have it no one else will and you can uh, successfully uh, share the code with anyone without having your bot being stolen and even if it is stolen Google does our uh, discord really has a has a really good uh, detection if your like token gets shared around like if your tokens found on github oh yeah discord will get you right away saying hey we reset your token etc and this is a way to ignore it or at least let people not get it and yes, I will be getting rid of the bot after this video, so getting that uh, thing is useless. Now, let's go into the fun part. Let's make a file called uh, cogs, or whatever you want. I made it cogs because it makes the most sense. And we can do hello.py. And inside that hello, we will do from nextcord.ext import commands and import nextcord. Now, cogs use classes, right? So what we'll do is class uh, hello commands.cog def init initialization self and client because I like the word client. And then we'll do super dot init. Now, let's do the setup real quick because I always forget to do that. Def setup client client dot add cog <clears throat> hello and then client right so now let's do this at commands this, this is where we're making the command at commands dot command we'll do async def hello self because it's class ctx and we can do await ctx dot send f hello ctx dot author dot mention because we're saying hello specifically to me and that's basically it for your own bot and you can make more files like we can do test dot pi and we can ultimately just copy and paste this change it up test or actually i'm pretty sure you can keep it the same but i'll be changing it and test, then we can do test worked, exclamation mark. We can get rid of the format, it's not useful. Then we'll change that to test. Yeah, no, they these have to be different, I guess. But the commands are different. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We can run the bot. Oh, yeah. We also need to go to OAuth2, URL generator. We'll click bot. And for now, I'm choosing administrator, but all you'd need is send messages, read messages, where is it? Read message history, and that's basically it, but whatever else you need. And if it's for owners on your own server, you can do administrator, but be careful with that, because if someone gets your uh, token, they can do malicious things with it. So, please redirect to your I want. Bot administrator. What? Oh, 
right here. Yeah, you need to enable the message content intent as well. Hero, bot, administrator, what? <laughs> um. Oh, requires OAuth 2 code grant. Yeah, no, that's why I missed the last one. Do not enable requires OAuth 2 uh, code grant. URL generator, this should work now. Administrator, yes. And I will invite the bot to my server or my test server. So let me do this real quick. Uh, authorize. I am human. You're going to have to input your thing. Oh, no, I didn't have to. Okay. And now I'll open up Discord. Uh, open up this. And here we go. Let me make a new channel for testing just for the bot. Okay. And I'm pretty sure I can just do this for testing. We can run the, the bot now. Go into your main.py and click run or you can use it in the CLI, the command, and see the bot is now online right here. And what we can do is in the little bar, whatever our command prefix is, S exclamation mark, we can do S exclamation mark, hello. And hello is not found. So what I think happened is that we need to do S reload, or sorry, S reload, hello, dogs hello has not been loaded. Okay, S load, hello. Huh? What happened? Am I missing something? Cogs dot extension. Oh, I forgot. Okay, sorry. We forgot to actually read everything. So we can do for uh, file name. We can do fn for that in os.list directory dot slash cogs. We can do if fn dot ends with dot pi. We can do client dot load extension uh, format cogs dot fn and then brackets uh, colon minus three or you know dash three and there we go we can get rid of this and let's restart the bot and it should work it should work now bot you're not going online oh yeah main pie come on I know you'll work what's going on what happened to you you good? Main.py. Cogs on hello raise an error. Type module. What? What is going on? Let me delete all this real quick. Let me close this. Evan, you want to start deleting Cogs. Pi. Oh, yeah. Cogs is your direct name. Like right here, I named it Cog. Um. Module. What? Um, hmm, this is weird. Def setup client, client dot add cog, hello client. Um, weird. Huh, I wonder what's going on. Um, yeah, definitely weird. I don't know what happened. Uh, in my original file, I did have this afterwards, which I know isn't the problem, but, you know, might as well just make it exact. Because so while I'm looking at the code, I want to be sure that everything's right, because the one on my screen works and all. But, yeah. This all looks right. Client.reload, unload, load. What's going on? Module takes in two arguments, three given. From where? Line 17. Cogs. Fn. Three. What? Wait, what's the problem? Nothing. What? Is it loading the cogs? Oh, 
Let me delete that. See if that's the problem. What? Okay, here. I'll just do this. I'll take in what I have on my screen. And it works. What was the problem? Subscri yeah, logged in. Uh, I don't know what the problem was. Anyways, let's test this now. S exclamation mark hello. And it works. Then we do S exclamation mark reload uh, hello. Reloaded hello successfully. So what we can do now is instead of hello, let's say hi. And, and let's do this again. Reload. Now if we do S hello, it will say hi now. It, it's pretty cool. We can do S unload hello s hello and it will not work it'll say it's not found because we unloaded s load hello and then s hello and it worked sorry it lagged out a bit and that's pretty cool isn't it and yeah that's basically how you do it and the source code and all this will be linked in the description to my github and yeah thank you for watching